Okay, today we're going to talk about rear hub wheel bearings. So we're going to take out the older uh, roller bearing, which is here, and we're going to put in tapered roller bearing, which is here. And here's the difference. Here's a roller bearing, that's the inner race. You can see it's got a little groove in it for the little balls. There's lots of them. And they ride in this part here. Uh, inner race and then that cage holds them all in place. So what we're going to do is change that to a tapered roller bearing. So the uh, these parts of the rollers, you can see it's tapered and it fits the race which is also tapered on the inside of the hub. And I'm going to show you how to change them. Okay, all right. First we're going to talk about when you remove the hubs or before you even remove the hubs. You'll notice that uh, the nuts are a different thread. So one is a right-hand thread, one's a left-hand thread. So just be aware of that. I keep the hub, nut, washer, and cap all together with the hub all the time. So on the inside of the hub, there's a spot right here, and then completely opposite, oh, or on the other side right here, where you can't see, but that's where the uh, punch will sit, ideally. And that way you can punch out the old race or the old bearing. All right, so again, I'll just show you another uh, bearing and race here. Just to show you what a tapered roller bearing looks like in the race. So there's the race. You'll have to hammer that in first. And it's got a, a taper to it to accept that taper of the bearing. It's the exact same exactly what you want to fit and uh, fits in there nice and smoothly and uh, the benefit to these are they're completely serviceable which means you can take the hubs off remove this bearing clean it and then repack it full of grease quite easily and put it back on the car no problems okay that kit that I got uh, came with a seal and the grease, cotter pin, and an o ring. Uh, don't stinge out, but with the new seal. Um, not only do they keep uh, the grease in, they keep water out. Very important. You can see this one's worn out just by looking on the grease side of the seal. It's it doesn't taper inward like this one does. All right, don't be cheap. So this is how it's going to go together. You're going to have your seal. In, it'll be hammered into your uh, hub. We'll remove that. I'll just get that out of the way. And then you have your bearing. See how it tapers? It's going that way in. And that's it from that side. From the other side, there'll be another bearing. And it comes out like that. These two bearings will actually touch on the inside and there won't be any movement back and forth like this. So what I'm going to try to do, before I put any grease on anything, is put those two bearings in and try to twist back and forth. So push on either side of the bearing. And if you can feel a rocking like this, some kind of movement like that, uh, then it's not a good fit. There's something wrong. You can actually see down in there that the two bearings are touching. Now previous, the two bearings didn't touch. There was actually a uh, center hub. I have an example here. Here's the old roller bearing, and there's the old roller bearing inner race, and there was a collar that sat in between those two to make up that same space difference. That is the same as that distance there. Okay. Okay, here's the kit. We got grease, seal, seals, and cotter pin, and two bearings, and the races will be in there as well. Great, everything we need. So here's the original roller bearings installed in this uh, hub. Um, You'll see the center collar is in here. I'll try to make it visible. There you can see it moved over and moved back. There we go. 
Uh, that's just the center collar moving around. So what I do to get these bearings out is I move that center collar over so you're not hammering on that and then hammer on the bearing, the outer, or the, in this case, the inner bearing, and just tap it on either side. Well, you'll probably have to drive it uh, on all four sides, really. But keep moving that spacer over. Hit it a few times. This side, that side, and so on. This side. Try to do it equally all the way around and work slow. Don't work on one side too long. Keep moving back and forth, back and forth. So I found it easier to put it in a vise. That way your hub is not sitting uh, right on so a table or something. It allows the bearing to come out. So after hammering a few times, here's what I got. So that's the uh, original bearing, the roller bearings here, the seal. And there's that center spacer, all greasy, of course. So now I can flip that hub over and work on the other side. All right, we'll flip it over. Just nicely uh, have the vise so it's not tight on the studs. You don't want them bending in the studs, right? And sometimes you're lucky enough, this one's moving. There, look at that inner hub. Your inner bearing right out. Sorry, that's the outer bearing. Tapped right out. So there we go. Now we can wipe all the grease out of that. Clean it up. And we'll get that other race. So it would be the inner race, which is right here. You can see the the roller. Maybe you can't. But you can see a bit of a where the roller would roll. The bearings would roll. All right. We'll tap that out. And I'm going to use those two spots that I told you about. The one in here. And the other one is right here. All right. We'll tap that out. Quite easy. So it wasn't, I didn't have to hit really hard. The only thing you got to make sure when you're hitting, don't drive this into the side of your hub and gouge your where that bearing sits, that bearing right sits. You're gonna have to gouge the material. Okay, great. Let's clean it up. All right, so you're looking at that saying, yeah, clean enough. No, not at all. I want it clean, I want it very clean like that. Get all the dirt, all the old grease, everything out of it. I think this is where you gotta spend the extra time. All right, it's all clean. We we'll start on this end, and we'll put this race in first. I'll show you how to do that. So when I unwrap a bearing, I take the plastic off, obviously, and uh, the races and the bearings. I clean them with a little bit of brake cleans, just to get any of the packaging oil and maybe little bits of uh, uh, machine lube or anything that's on there off, and then I'll put the proper lube on it. So we'll just give that a quick spray of brake clean. I'll blow it with the blower and I'll be right back. So I've cleaned it off with brake cleans. I try not to touch the outside where it's gonna go into the hub. Um, I just wanna keep my finger grease off it. If, it dro if this drops right into place easily, we've got a problem. That's too much tolerance in that. Then you'll have to go with an oversized race or something like that. I use a uh, bearing race driver. So you make sure it's on there flat. You make sure that the race is in uh, properly, evenly. And then smooth, even taps. Not going wild with the hammer here. Nice, even. Sorry about the movement of the camera. Now, I, it doesn't hurt to have a look. Make sure everything's even all the way around. You'll notice when I get to the end, there'll be a pitch change to the sound of this bearing race going in. So just keep listening, we're almost there. Oh, that was it. Beautiful. Now, just give it a wipe. 
weight, make sure that there was nothing on that tool. And we'll have a little check. Make sure it's in all the way. I think I'm gonna give it one more tap just to make sure. Oops, two. Doubly sure. And it looks great. Now I'll do the other side. change I know it's in all the way and the whole thing sort of bounced a little bit too when when that bearing hit its maximum uh, point of going in all right good both braces in okay this is uh, the hub I just put together we'll try the bearings and just make sure that they meet in the middle like this and there's no play so no rocking this is important if you feel played, now's the time to to fix it. So I've got nothing. Any movement you see is just my fingers moving back and forth. Uh, I feel absolutely no movement in there. So I'm confident that's going to be great. Okay, next we're going to repack the uh, wheel bearings. Uh, you can do it one of two ways. You can use the bub method or you can use a bearing packer like this. Works by it's just a sample bearing, but you put the bearing in there, you put the cap on top, push down really hard, and the grease will come out here. And you wait until you see the nice fresh grease coming out, get all that old grease out. But we're not going to use that. They sent us some grease, we're going to use that. Uh, this grease has got to be enough to do these two bearings, and a little bit in the cap. We'll freshen that up. Uh, I just got them over in the paint booth getting painted because, you know. I want it to look good. All right, so packing the bearing is really just filling all these voids uh, with grease and making sure there's grease all over all these rollers. So the full length of them and right down into here, you want it on the outside, you want it on the inside, you want it all over this thing. All right, so what we'll do, squeeze about half of this out into my hand because half's going to one bearing, half's going to the other and what you're going to do is like a scooping and what you want to do is you want to see the grease come out here and that's when you know you have enough in there you know like oh he's almost out of grease but it's all over here so we'll just pull that back all right all right you can start to see it coming out there keep doing this until you see it coming out there it is see bursting out the other side and I'll do the rest of it just off camera and then you're gonna also rub it all around the whole thing so everything's nice evenly coated okay you want to make sure that you rotate the bearing so hold the center and turn the outside make sure grease is all over everything and while you have a greasy hand Rub some of that on the accepting race in the center hub in those little gaps that you use to access the back of the race. And same on the other side. And I should have mentioned before, but at this point, make sure that everything is clean here. Um, you know, if you're working outside, cause sometimes you have to um, put down a piece of cardboard or something. You don't want any dirt or sand or anything like that in these bearings. I keep them clean okay all right so all we have to do is simply put the bearing in here just make sure all that grease is in there nicely everything's covered now we're going to get the seal just a little dab of that grease will uh, go on the lip of the seal here and when the, uh, the uh, stub axle goes through here the hub axle It'll just slide in there nicely. It just helps. All right, so I'll get a seal driver, which is actually my bearing driver. And then what I do is take this bolt out, flip it over, and then I've got a nice flat um, shoulder to push on the seal evenly with. So 
there's the seal and there's my tool. I flipped it over and it nicely covers the whole seal. So I'm giving even pressure to uh, knock the seal in. You don't have to wail on it. Just light taps with the hammer and you should just drive it in. You just want to be flush. Looks good. Alright, so now simply when I put the hub on, I will put this bearing in and this washer. And you can see that this washer is slightly different. You've got a curved side and a 90 degree side on here. You want the 90 degree side against the bearing, so it's pushing like that. Bearing. 90 degree side of the washer and then the rounded part of the washer and then the nut. Remember these nuts are one side only. So in my case this hub's going to be sitting just while I do the uh, radius arm bushings and get that ready. Uh, that's another video. Uh, anyway, uh, so while this is sitting I'll just put a paint cap. That's all it is. Just a paint cap on there keep all the dirt out of there and I'll put the dust cap that normally goes on this side on this side. I'm just painting them and uh, I want everything to be clean. Alright, so I just put a couple of uh, paint caps, one on each side, just to keep anything out and uh, that's it. For now, all I have to do is install them on the car and I'll make a quick video on how to torque them down and that's how you uh, do your conversion from roller bearing bearing. Thanks for tuning in. Share, like, comments. Thanks.